Hi Capricorns! Welcome to Antique Tarot. Today we're doing your love reading for March 2023. I can't believe we're heading into March already. So two months of 2023 have passed. January flew by, February flew by. Next thing we know, it will be spring and then half the year will have been over. There was a piece of ash there. All right, what is going on with the Capricorn Collective who will be tuning in in regards to love spirit? What do they need to know? Messages for the Capricorn Collective. I had, uh, I had burned some sage. Sorry, guys. I had burned some sage. And I'm seeing some of their ashes have fallen. I don't want to smash the ashes into the thing. Bear with me. All right. So, messages for the Capricorn Collective in love for March 2023. Ooh, the moon fell out. Ten of Swords fell out. It's interesting. Ten of Swords had came fell out in the pre-shuffle. On this uh, card it says deep anguish. So some of you Capricorn may be in pain ending something or ending a relationship. But the good thing with the 10 is that it, it's a minor arcana, number one and number two. It's, it leads to something new. And we have the two of swords that f fell out. Difficult decision. Perhaps you guys end something or end a relationship recently and it was a difficult decision for you guys to end it. So those are just some cards that pop up. So I thought I'll share it with you guys. What is this? Four of Cups. Four of Cups. You guys may have been stagnant or bored. Not moving anywhere. Maybe that's why you guys end it. Alright, so I call on all my spirit. I call on my I call on my spirit. My guides, angels. Ascendant Masters, please help me be a clear channel for the Capricorn Collective who will be tuning in. Messages for the Capricorn Collective. Who will be tuning in? Alright. Let me just do it like this this month. I'm going to try... I'm going to try to do... A new s a spread that I just learned not too long ago and see how that works all right so this is the pass ten of coins lasting security so in the recent past you guys felt you had a stable relationship with this person, someone that you could build a long-term connection with. You know, plant the seed, plant the tree, the house, the picket fence, security, and the page of cups. New excitement, starting new. They may be a little younger than you and then there was attraction for movements, abundance. So new new relationship that you thought you could build a solid foundation with. But there was something that was hidden. I think the moon had came out before. Or, or there was something about them or a sigh of them that you didn't see or you didn't know about. Uh, 
you may have been deceived or there was some kind of illusion, delusion. Uh, I want to say the word trickery, but there was, I'm getting sense there was something you couldn't see or maybe they led you on or play the part or pe play the role that they thought you wanted them to be or the, or they just pull a fast one by you or they were just it wasn't the real true them like they were acting four of coins holding tight so four of coins is holding on so someone was holding on on to money well this is holding on to money four of coins sometimes it can represent greed holding on holding on usually to money or materialistic thing but it could be also holding on to something or someone so they may have hold that but since it's next to this they may have been holding on to some kind of secret so I'm picking up some kind of deception something that they pull wool over your eyes that you may have not seen and then the outcome is judgment yeah so you may have gotten a wake-up call so you got you got to see you saw something about them yeah see here see how this person there's two face here so you woke up you woke up to the, the to the other side of them wow this is wild you guys because usually <laughs> judgment card is uh angels you know playing bu bugle horn and uh it's amazing how when i you know how spirit has me use certain deck for certain readings all right so this confirmed what i was picking up energetically with this moon card the shadow illusion because it was right now it's right next to the moon card all right yeah so you guys so this person you thought you could build a solid foundation with they may be a little younger than you you were excited you thought you could start new create abundance you know solidity you know doing teamwork building growing doing something you know everything together there was attraction uh expression of emotion but they were holding on to a sigh of them hiding a sigh of them that you didn't see that you never saw and then you woke up and you saw the other side of it seven of sword all in determined yeah so someone is standing strong taking a stance i don't know if this is you or them or them being defensive after you may have called them up and said yeah eight of cups stagnant routine remember we had the four of cups i say you guys you may be bored or something's not moving for it yeah so now we have the eight of cups so this is energy that i pick yeah so things were not progressing or moving or it was stagnant and uh, you're going to be walking away stagnant routine eight of cups walking away not being fulfilled wow sorry to hear that capricorns so it was someone you thought you could build a future with long term but it turned out they were not who you thought they were because there was a sigh of them that they kept hidden from you they sort of play the game meaning playing the role being the person they thought you wanted them to be but it wasn't their true self and you know you can only hide your you can only hide it for so long sooner or later the true self can't comes out so it looks like that's why we had ten of swords excruciating pain right that came out in the pre-shuffle and it came out when i was shuffling as well the ten of swords it was an ending okay yeah look as i say that you guys the next card up is death necessary ending wow very synchronistic yeah oh my god the devil okay so there so this person may destructive indulgence so this person may have 
uh, have a bad habit, the other side of them, maybe they they did drugs or uh, or alcohol or alcohol or addicted to substance or lived some type of uh, other side other another life that you didn't know about that's toxic that's you know on more of the darker side okay that's why it says necessary ending yeah so there's a whole other side of this person that you didn't even know about that's kind of scary right you know how we hear in the news and the movies how some people have like two lives or two wives or two husbands two separate cities and you know, I'm not saying this is your scenario, your situation, your person, but the point, my point being is that sometimes you think you know someone, even though for a long time, um, but they hide it so well and you don't. But sooner or later it comes out. Yeah, destructive indulgence. So, well, it's good that you find out now, Capricorn, right? Better late than never because... You don't want to, you know, invest. Well, you probably have invest some time and effort and energy and money, but uh, it's better to cut your losses now than, you know, go full force and waste, you know, eight years, ten years, come and then find out. So, you know, on the bright side, it's good that you had a wake up call and spirit or your guys, your angel, help you to see them for who they truly are now and not later. All right. So I'm going to leave that there, Capricorn. I hope that was helpful and useful to you. Sorry to hear this ending, but, you know, as I said, the Ten of Swords, whenever the guy closes one door, he opens another door. So it's an ending. It's a necessary ending. And it seems like you already know. That's why I feel like you guys are the one who's walking away. It may have been a hard decision, but... Um, you guys are logical and practical. I think you'll be fine. So wishing you all the best. Uh, lots of love to you. Love and light. And I will catch you again on the next video. Bye Capricorns.